much of the time I try to stay somewhat low key, low key as in if there is a problem with, I would say most people, I may not really, I may not even mention it. You know, if it is someone I don't really have to contact much, if there is an issue that may arise every so often, I may not speak about it because bringing it out in the open may cause more problems than what it is worth. If it is a person I have to contact much, I may, you know, speak about the issue. But I usually try to stay very low. Like, um, I try to, you know, I think some people may notice, I guess a person may say that I am nice, and let's say I am nice. I think some people may see how nice I am and may see me as like a, a doormat like a pushover, which is okay to see me like that, but I think some people may, how can I explain this? A person may see me and be like, well, Kevin is nice. So I am going to do things that I normally would not do with other people because other people would get mad and maybe cuss at me or shout at me or something like that. But because Kevin is nice, I'm going to do this here and I am going to do that here. Like, know what they doing. They may know what they are doing is not right. But because it is Kevin and Kevin is not going to make, well, in most cases, he is not going to make a big scene. You know, Kevin is like, uh, what is that phrase? Go along to get along. In a sense, as in he may not like what is going on, but he may get along, go along with it just to be peaceful. I think some people see that and I think they push in certain areas. I think I can be nice to some particular people to where if I tell them no or or tell them, well, I am going to do it like this, I think some people get really offended as if I owe it to them to do it in the way they want it to be done. How ridiculous is that? Let's say I give you something free every day. And let's say that you like that. But let's say I stop. What some people may do act as if it is their right. And I think that is so insane. I am doing something out of the kindness of my heart. But if I stop it, I'm wrong. I am doing something wrong. You are angry with me? Is that like, what is that? Is that appreciation? Is that... And in the back of my mind, sometimes I may think to myself, like, well, maybe I should push back and maybe I should frown my face more. Well, what I am thinking now, which I am not saying I am going to do, maybe I should frown my face more. Maybe I should not... Uh, be a joker, a person that jokes around, even though I may not like what is going on. Maybe I should not be a joker to 
people like that. Maybe I should um, not be so inviting in my demeanor if I am using the correct word on that. But in so many words, I believe I was thinking somewhat like that earlier. But a thing came to my mind, something like, I may not have the exact words correct, but somewhere around the idea of even if people will act in an ignorant way, you should not, not degrade, but you should not lower yourself because of people's attitude. Like, you know, usually I try to be a person that's smiling, not that fake stuff. Well, I guess sometimes I may smile in a fake way, I guess, but usually, you know, I am smiling and laughing, you know, keeping positive energy, if you understand what I mean. But some people may take that as, hey, this man is laughing too much. This man is smiling too much. That means I can take advantage of this person. I can make a deal with this person, but, you know, slide some other stuff in there, which wasn't part of the deal. But since Kevin is so nice, since Kevin is not really going to say too much, let me slide some stuff into it. And, you know, as if, not so much testing me, but in a way taking advantage. I don't like that. I do not like that. Do I need to start frowning at people? Do I need to start acting a little tough or hostile to get people to not take advantage? Why do I have to do that? Why can't I be pleasant? Why can't I be, you know, I guess somewhat open? Like, why do I have to act in a manner that is not really like me, but I'm doing it to, I guess I can say, protect myself? That's a shame. I guess some people are not used to nice people. So when they may encounter a nice person, maybe their instincts are, well, let me get what I can get out of this person. And that is not right. That is not right. If you see a nice person, be appreciative. Oh, this person is going far out for me. So let me pay more close attention to how I treat this person. Let me pay more attention to how, you know, like if I make a deal with this person, let me try so hard to stick to that deal no matter what. Some people are like, well, I know Kevin is not going to trip. So let me do this. Let me do that. And then once I do get real mad, they may be like, oh, why are you so mad? And maybe some of you all have encountered stuff like this from people. And maybe you act more tough around people because how some people are. Because of how some people's, I guess, need to want to take advantage of others. And um, it's like, I'm telling you, not everyone is like this to me, but some people, I guess they see that, you know, I'm not sagging my pants, you know, I don't have dreadlocks dyed and stuff like that. And, you know, I guess I kind of speak somewhat proper. Maybe they see me as like a a come up or someone that they can get over on. Why? 
It is a shame. But what is going to happen, there was someone I used to help in the past. And in the beginning, I believe that person was not saying he was very disrespectful. He wasn't. But he was different in the beginning. But once that person saw how I was, you know, nice and willing to go so far from that person, I believe that person got really relaxed and start doing stuff that he didn't really do. And I'll and there was times where I would be so irritated. And then they get to the point to where I would I would tell them some stuff at first. Let, let me say in this way, towards the end, I would tell them in like a nice way. I would try to tell them in a nice way, like, hey man, like uh, you know, blah 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 blah. And then I believe toward the end, like he, he was like, whatever, you know, you know, because I guess he got really used to me being calm headed and and nice and gentle with him and stuff like that. I believe he got used to that type of Kevin. Then it got to the point where he asked for something and I told him, no, I am not going to do it where I told him no in other instances, but. The last time he contacted me, I told him no, and I have not really heard from him ever since. And it has been maybe over a year where it didn't even have to go that far. Now, I believe with him, I believe there was times I would tell him, you know, in between, I would not tell him every time, but you know, if I saw something I didn't like, I probably would wait unless I got really, really irritated. Then I may tell him something in between because uh, I believe I was in contact with that person for about a year or more, maybe. And I would tell that person off and on, you know, like uh, this need to change or you need to do this and stuff like that. And and he would kind of take me seriously, but I think towards the end. He didn't really take me too much seriously. Like there's a certain thing that he would do that he would never do before. But I guess after time, I guess if a person don't holler and scream and cuss, I guess you won't take that person too seriously. And why is it necessary for me to even have to go that far? So I guess my message to you all is even if people will try to take advantage of you, always stay nice, always stay, always stay nice, gentle, well, at least try to be gentle, be nice, gentle, kind, always try to be that way no matter how some people you know, some people may see that as weakness and see that as an opportunity to take advantage of you. Even if people see it in that way, stay that way. Don't lower yourself because of the ignorance of others. I'm not going to be this mean person and just, you know, have a non-inviting can I say persona? Yes, persona. I am not going to lower myself, you know, like, hey, you know, if I laugh too much, if I smile too much, people are going to think me as weak or gullible or foolish. So I need to act tough. I need to tattoo my face. I need to start using unnecessary slang and stuff like that no i am not going to be that way i will try to stay nice i will try to stay always calm-headed 
So I guess I can stop here. God bless you.